Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katri and this is my lovely husband Josh. Hi. And today we are doing his wrap up of all the books I gave him to read this past month. <laughs> so I'm going to guess his ratings. He's going to tell us a little bit of his thoughts, yep. but nothing like that spoils it. And then yep. I'm going to guess and he's going to tell us whether or not I guessed right and then why his rating like if i didn't then he's going to tell us what his rating is and then why he rated it that, why I rated it that yeah. yeah and then you can kind of tell us like at the end like what book was your favorite and what was your least favorite or whatnot oh so i'm giving like a final like like at the very tier end ranking yeah. list oh, okay well i mean you don't have to do all of them you can just do best and worst if you want but it's up to you oh so, yeah what was the first book you read this month where the Red Fern Grows by Wilson Rawls. That's how you say his last name, right? Rawls? I said Rawls. 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 Maybe Rawls. that's just my accent. Um, He's from, he is from Oklahoma. So. Anyways, so Where the Red Fern Grows, right? A uh, story about a kid, um, Oklahoma, Ozark Mountain area, you know, really wants puppies, hunting puppies, coon hunting puppies specifically, right? And, um, he eventually gets them and uh, pretty much it captures his childhood years from the start of getting those puppies all the way through um, it, it, it kind of takes some twists some turns I'm not gonna spoil the ending obviously but I'm, I'm not gonna lie I had a really hard time finding something wrong or something I didn't really like about this book it kept me so entertained I literally like blitzed through it in like a few days uh, and there were, it was very rarely a page that I wasn't smiling or awing or, or getting, you know, a little choked up at, you know, I, like I don't, giving too much away. I don't cry or anything <laughs> like that, but, but I, you know, that's, that's one of my thoughts on I think you gave it. this one a five stars. Well, I had to give you an easy one to start with, <laughs> but no, I, the, it's hard I for me. I tell by the way you were like Yeah, it was it, hard for me not to. <laughs> Yeah, and it's hard for me not to give it away as I was like talking about it because it's like I, I really loved it, you know. Even even the sad parts, the bittersweet so, parts. It's a five star. I yeah, got it five right? star. Yeah, <laughs> that's one. This was a four point seven five for me. I think. Mm -hmm. so See, it barely for me, missed the mark for me. I think for me, part of but why, it is like a little boy, so like I feel like it connects. Yeah, with, exactly. It it, with boys a the bit reason better. that I gave it a pretty much a flawless is because it, it it connected with me a lot better in my like childhood years, especially my years of just enjoying the outdoors and, and having fun Yay. with it. So. I, I, I got it right, that that's his first book. Yep. And so far, my recommendation is holding up. <laughs> All right, what is the second book that you read? The second book is oh, on a two for one special from Walmart, H.G. Wells, The Time Machine. So, this, this book was a classic. It's a classic. It's the only classic I gave you, right? It's it's a yeah. classic that did a lot for the science fiction genre. Um, it was short, but man, it it also it yeah, took it was only me a bit. Two hundred pages. So. But it was it was a dense two hundred pages. It yeah. took me a bit. There were there were a couple of times I was like, hang on, I gotta reread this, make sure I actually understand it right. <laughs> um, you know, and I, part of that could just be on a twenty first century guy and i don't know when did he write this like 16th century no i'm kidding not that old probably uh, probably 20th century i think is when he wrote, would have wrote, written it um i don't think it's got a copyright information on there really yeah but uh, if you knew if you do know off the top of your head brownie points if you could say it in the comments um yeah, for me anyways um but i you know it, it surprised me it, it surprised me in some aspects of it. Um, some of like the twists and reveals, you know, very much a, a just a, a science fiction romp that I could tell, you know, did a whole lot for its time. And it still holds pretty well. So, The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, I think is a 3.5 star. Am I right? No. No? Dang it. <laughs> So I, I will say just to what's make sure, the, what's the... it's a four out of five. Oh, you 
you rated it higher than I thought. I did, yes. Oh, okay. And that's mainly because he did a really good job of making it feel like an adventure and not yeah. just science fiction dumping on you. Yeah. He, he very much took an approach to it where he was like, I want to make it plausible that you can believe in the adventure, but I'm still going to give you a really good adventure. And I do like it when science fiction does that. Um, if you start rambling about science, the science, and then, 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 and also with fantasy too, because I also really love fantasy. If you start getting all mumbo jumbo -y about it, I'm going to, it's going to turn me off. I, I like a good book. Except before, for Jurassic Park. But the, the, the rambling is part of the suspense though. So, but yeah, so, four, out of, uh, four out of five. Four out of five stars. Okay, I did not guess that one, but it was higher than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. A little bit higher. Yeah, okay. I liked it more. What was your third book? Um, so, well, actually. So far, my my recommendations are still like. Oh, yeah. You, you, you have exquisite taste. I am great taste at recommending books. At recommending books <laughs> to me. I would hope you would be. As, a, as your husband, you would know me that well. Um, also, just so you know, none of these are quarters, right? So it's not... 4.25 or 4.7 if it's just whole number and half number oh okay so you don't so you don't try to so you don't try to get like so you specific, just specific. don't rate that way i just don't rate that way oh and to me okay. to me if i could bump it lower i'll bump notice? it lower and to me if i bump it higher i'll give it grace bump it higher you okay. know but i i don't like the oh, that's just me i'm si simple guy. <laughs> I'm a simple guy. He says he doesn't like that. I'm a simple guy. I'm right guy. next to his wife, who likes to nitpick every little thing and have very exact ratings for everything. Did you just compliment that, that's, me? That's rude. You compliment me. Anyways. What was your third book? The third book <laughs> is uh, A Series of Unfortunate Events, specifically the first one by... Uh, yeah, by Kenny. Yeah, by uh, Lemony Snicket. Yes. Um... I do have to say, middle grade series. yeah, I do have to say we watched the Netflix original together before I ever picked up one of these, but in spite of that, I, I still had fun reading it. Um, definitely, definitely was meant to be read below my age. Um, part of the issue with that for me, I tend to just blitz through these kind of books, um, without, not necessarily without enjoying it, but probably not getting as much enjoyment out of it as I probably would have. Um, but that's also because, not, not meaning to brag on myself here, but I was reading multiple grades above my level when I was going through school. So I probably would have, I probably would have liked this at the age that it was supposed to be, like, targeted for. Okay. So. So, bad beginning, I'm thinking 3.5 or 4. See, this is where we talk about with the bumping up thing, I'll give you grace. 4. 4, yeah. <laughs> So, so four stars in spite of in spite of me blitzing through it i actually liked it it's very what much is, a silly yeah it's a silly comment well it, it, the funny thing is is that it's a silly comedy about a guy trying to get some kids fortunes but it's dark it's so dark and you don't expect the two seemingly conflicting elements to work but it works no, so well you still laugh so well. you still cry you still you know it makes you feel in a really good way. Let me stick it. He does a good job. Of that, for sure. So, yeah, you're, you're two out of three what's, so far. What's your uh, fourth book? I'm My fourth about. book <laughs> is um, Cursed Princess Club by uh, Lamb, Lambcat? Lambcat. Lambcat. Yeah. yeah, so I'll hold that. So obviously she picked, read this. Yeah, <laughs> she picked out my TBR. These are all her recommendations directly from her. Voluptu voluptuous? Voluptuous? It's not the right You're word. You're weird with words. Uh, from, from her big, big bookshelves, okay? Big bookshelves. Voluminous? Volume, vol, volume, vol. No. <laughs> voluminous. That's voluminous. not a word. I'm going to look it no. up later. No. <laughs> um, so, it was, it was a weird sort of. There, you ever have those times when someone recommends something to you and you're like, there's no way I'm going to like this. There's no way I'm going to like enjoy it, right? But then you open up and the first page in, you're already like laughing or you're already like, ha, ha, you know, just little, little chuckles. What's going on? Yeah. Why do I love it? <laughs> it's, yeah, it was like super disarming. I'm like, okay, but I'm like saying it with a smile on my face. Like, that's interesting. Moving on. Uh, you know, it was, uh, I liked the characters. I liked kind of the 
romantic comedy with the fantasy in it. It's a yeah. rom-com. It's a romantic comedy. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> but it's also fantasy. Kind of. But not really. It Lamb like Cat. Fairy tale. Yeah, Lamb Cat really, really tried to put something into it. Brought a unique idea from their mind. Right. Right into it, and and I also like the art. I will say. Oh, the art is very pretty. The art was pleasant to look at. So. Four or four point five. That's one of them. Four point five. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> four point five. So close. Chris, so close Chris to being. Not, I think my rating was for the me. same for this. Yeah, it was. It was so close to being it was great. The content, the few little content. Yeah, there. it I was the. It video. was the. Yeah, she has a whole video about it. Go look at this, it. So. If you're watching this and you haven't seen that, stop this video. Go it look at that. Only a couple little video. things. It's not excessive, but it you know it's fair, so it's enough to not make it five star. Yeah, and then our what is this? Fifth, 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 yeah. fifth book. James Patterson and Michael Lewis's Zoo. Mm -hmm. So, so he has not seen the show. Yeah. I've seen the show, although I read the book first, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Did I? Or I read it around the same time or something, but so, I haven't seen the show, so. This gave me Jurassic Park vibes, but not in not the same good, quality and level of yeah. Jurassic Park. Um, very much came across horror, horror thriller. Um, I will say there were some aspects of it I didn't really care for. Um, me personally, I don't really care about the whole evolution idea, you know. I'd forgotten uh, all about that. <laughs> yeah, the whole, and also kind of the whole it's been climate. So long since I read some this. of the climate change, pollution, humans are the problem preaching. Uh, I also didn't really care for it because we're made in God's image, not everything else in this world. Um, so if that gives me a superiority complex, it's just how God made me big. Okay. Um, okay. Three, 3.5? You gotta pick which one. 3.5. Three. Three out of five. Dang it. I really, okay, those it is a three out of five. fun moments, three star. scary moments, cool moments, um, but again, a lot of that preaching at you, kind of like, oh, we gotta, we gotta do a big stop. Um, I'm going you'll to only show get the show next, though. I feel like you keep the show more. Maybe. I feel like I like the show I didn't, more. I didn't hate it. Um, I, I didn't hate it, but I was also like, I kind of closed the book being like, eh. And then I moved on to the next book. You like that transition? Uh, a Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Um, really yeah. pretty art, I gotta say. Um, yeah. And, and usually it's just kind of secondary, like kind of an additional thing if you want to look at it. But I mean, like you can literally see it's like, he makes it part of the storytelling where he makes you have to stop, have to appreciate it. And so um, Jim K did the illustrations and he did great. Um, moral of the story and, and the characters, really hard, really, really punch you in the gut, kind of making you think about things, um, kind of book, but not in a bad way. No, I like sad books, so. Yeah, but, but the fantastical elements of it help alleviate mm -hmm. some of the, you know, depressing elements. I mean, it's literally about a monster calling on this random boy um so okay. between a four and four point five. Is that a four point five because of the illustrations? It's a four. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say the illustrations are really cool. Um okay. some of the some of the morals, um so I have stuff highlighted in here. Yeah. Um, some of the quotes, <laughs> some of the stuff is really quotable, really memorable, really cool. Um, it falls short in some aspects. Um, some of like the kind of, some of the elements in it I don't entirely agree with in terms of the, the morals of it kind of deal. Um, you, you would see what I mean if you've read it, so. Then yeah. the book we've all been waiting for. The Chi Chi by, uh, Sarah Adams. This book surprised me. All time favorite books. This book surprised me. Um, I was expecting something to happen in this book that never happened. And there were a bunch of things that happened in this book that I wasn't expecting <laughs> to happen. And then they did happen. And I was like, oh, okay, that's neat. Um, it's about a NFL quarterback who's obsessed over 
his best friend from high school, but he thinks she doesn't know it. And then it's also from the perspective of the best friend. That's a dual POV. Yeah, it's dual POV. And neither of them know they have feelings for each other. And neither of them want to know that they have feelings for, like, they, they put themselves in a perpetual friend zone for, like, oh gosh, like, uh, 10 years? Because you had the I'm four not even years sure in high school. because there's some. You would have the four years. The time sorry, too. Sorry, quick, quick moths. Four years in high school, because they first met in high school, mm -hmm. and then they had another four years in college. That's another eight years. And then it was another six years. That's 14 years. Yeah. That's a long time to, to, to be in a friend zone. Yeah. But you could definitely feel a lot of that tension starting to like break down over time as he implements this cheat sheet, you know, what a quarterback uses to call plays. And I really, I, I enjoyed it. I had a hard time putting it down. Putting it down. I think it's a five star. You're close. No, it is a five star because of my annotations. It has to be. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> it that, has to be. But that's not because of the book itself. Okay. Sure, sure. <laughs> you didn't give this a five star? Because I gave it a four and a half. And the only reason I did it is because I didn't like one of the characters in it. Derek? I don't like, I don't like handing out five stars. Um, but yeah, pretty not, not because of Derek. Um, the other D character. The, the hairstylist. Oh. Um, yeah, that was a bigger deal to me. It, bigger deal than my annotations. Okay, well, the annotations are not part of the book. It's hard for me to be biased. I have to... Are you going to give me the steam kind until I give it a five stars? What about my annotations? With the annotations, it's a five star, okay? I had a hard time. I should, I should erase all of the things that I wrote about you. I should just go back. What? And, no. And write out mine. them. You know? I'll fight you. I'll, I'll, I'll make you keep it. <laughs> All right. Sure. Yes. Yes, I will. That right there, my Joshua? Well, anyway. White out. That upset yeah. about this goodness. <laughs> no, but it was, it was fun. Uh, I was legit expecting, like, a third act, classic rom-com, misunderstanding, breakup kind of thing, and then they just come back together out of nowhere. But it's like, no, it's, it's wholesome all the way down, you know? Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. So 4.5 then? Yeah, 4.5. Okay. But with the annotations. Five. Hang on. With with this specific Book Nerd Katri edition, with her commentary. Talking about you. Five stars. <laughs> every day of the week. Because, because that, you, that had me he laughing. He was blushing over it. And I have a picture of you blushing. Bright red. I don't. Yes, I do. Where the Red Friend Grows would be your my favorite book. favorite from book from this list. This is the first one you read. Yes, it so was. So it's kind of all downhill from there. It was all down. Well, kind of did a little divot thing. Divot. It literally I mean, ended at an over book. Zoo would have been your. Zoo would have been my lowest. Um, lowest. Which but is... nothing was under three star. Most all were in the four star range. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it just goes to show how well my wife knows me. Yeah. She to show. I'm amazing at recommending books. I mean, to be honest, it's hard Honestly, for you. Honestly, I didn't like even expect you to like 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 that one. I just like curious what you thought about it and the concept because I like the show more. Yeah, I told you about it. So. I told you what I thought about it. Yeah. So. So. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, next month it will be my turn. <laughs> I know. Yeah, in July I've already done my video, but August is my hubby's birthday month, so. Yes, it is. He is coming up with some fun way to pick or battle, I don't know, Somewhere. for my August TV. I'll figure it so out. It'll be part of my birthday. We will see, but yes, and you'll probably see him in a few more. Well, maybe. I'm yeah. a guest character. Yeah, you'll see him in I'm a few more videos one. in August. I was thinking of something that you were doing in August, and then I realized you're no longer doing that in August, so... I'm the guy. You will see him in more videos in August. Yeah. Just because I love him and we'll be doing special birthday stuff for him. Mm. Birthday boy. Mm. <laughs> you know you know the guy on like the all the different comedy shows so when like they like open this. up the door and everyone just immediately starts clapping and cheering? That's me with your channel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> When it's your birthday, I'll 
see if I can like figure out how to do a little like clapping thing on the video. And I'll even like do the whole like dramatic so pause like and like happy birthday for you. Yeah. These are all the books he read. I'm so proud of you. You read seven books. I know. You finished your books before I did too. And you got me remembering how much I liked reading in general. Yes, so now I'm starting to go through his own books. my books that are over that way. No. So You won't have much time to read here. Like a week and a half ago. But yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you liked this video. Mm -hmm. I hope you liked this video too. So. And I guess we will see you or I will see you next time in my next video.